We're here today with Chrissy Perez from Florida International University, one of the architecture students, as well as George Moros uh, from Skanska, the project manager on the Solar Decathlon project. Chrissy, tell us how this project came to be. Uh, we are one of 20 schools chosen to be part of the Solar Decathlon. It's a competition that's held every other year by the U.S. Department of Energy. Uh, where universities from around the world are challenged to build, design and build a solar house. We're one of the 20 schools chosen this year. And how long did it take you guys to design this house? We've been in design development mode for about a year now. And uh, we've been in construction for three months, more or less. And George, tell us some of the things that went into putting this project together, which is leaving for Washington, D.C. next week. Well, actually, it was very, very challenging. Um, uh, we're so proud to be part of the, the, the team that, you know, uh, it's, it's uh, made out of uh, multiple uh, people, students, faculty, staff, uh, community leaders, uh, everybody supporting this effort. We have, uh, as Chris has said, uh, three months to start construction. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of decisions have to be made in a quick fashion. We, we have uh, all the all the you know students supporting putting together all the resources we needed and uh, uh, it was very challenging scheduled to be built a uh, house of uh, this uh, complexity in three months uh, in a way that has to be built uh, to be prepared to be disassembled and reassemble and disassemble and reassemble again it was very challenging so next Tuesday we're, we're looking forward for next Tuesday to to, to, for the shipping day. And uh, to George, also tell us this is the third project that Skanska has done for FIU. Could you just tell us briefly about the other two that were previously done? Yeah, we started, uh, I guess FIU is our, our partner for this community. We, our, our preferred client uh, for, for, for this area. We started more than seven or eight years ago. We built the Frost Museum. Uh, we also built the College of Nursing uh, Public uh, Sciences. Um, and we're going to be actually, this is the third project that, that we do with the FIU. Uh, in, in personally, one of the most challenging ones and most, more, one of the most rewarding ones. Uh, the next, uh, we're going to be building ac actually the Stemple Complex also next year. And uh, we're hoping for a, a long-term relationship with, with the university and with, uh, with the staff and, and students and, and faculty. And Chrissy, just tell me two or three quick highlights of this project from a solar standpoint. What makes it such a great solar house? One is the energy efficiency. Obviously, we run, uh, it's a grid tight system, but uh, the house is designed, engineered to run uh, all, all on solar power. Um, one of the other neat things is the mover panels. They're a prototype for hurricane protection. When they're down, they protect the house. And when they're up, they provide shade, uh, which extends you know, the inside of the house to the deck. Um, one of the, the, maybe the third most interesting thing about the house is the integration of the interiors and the exterior. The interior is a modest 800 square feet, but uh, when you raise all the louver panels and open all the doors, it extends the house to another 1,500 square feet of, of deck, which surrounds the house. Okay, well, good luck to you guys in Washington, D.C. Thank you.